Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's June the 6th, 2012. Okay, I'm not going to try to force anybody to believe it, that believe what, I, what I'm showing here, but anybody that has any interest in knowing the truth about the Earth and the Moon, you really, I really think you should take a look at this. If you're a scientist and you're not aware of this, I, I, I think that you should really consider trying these overlays. I really do. On your, on your computer. I mean, absolutely now let me just point out again I'm gonna make this one last video here for it's gonna be the last one for a while because it, it shows everything that needs that, that you need to see it shows everything and I'm gonna it's if you're not you know if you don't want to know this then I'd suggest you turn the video off right now because this is a uh, you know it's I'm not saying that I'm not trying to put fear into anybody or, or, or point out say that the moon's gonna hit the earth I'm not even saying that all I'm saying is this totally changes the geologic history of the earth completely these overlays that I am doing are absolutely if these maps are correct these overlays that I'm doing are absolutely correct okay I mean most of them are I, I, I'd say all of them but I'm just gonna say at least 95 percent of them are for sure so here you go this is one I did the other day and I made this video already and I, I lined this all by eye just by the feet, looking at the features on the on the moon and on on the Earth, like I said in the other video. I mean, I just lined. I saw all these features here, and I s lined it up, right? Well, the following day, or the following night, I turned on the borders, and that's what I saw, right? Okay, now look at how, look at how that fits. Look at how this goes, all right there. Look how this all fits right around there, and all these borders fit right in there, just absolutely perfect perfect okay perfect okay now that then the next day I, I I looked up there in South America and I seen the same print right there at the top of South America is the same print as you see right here okay there it is in the borders look at this up here here check, check this out do these overlays I'm telling you do these this is a you get this picture from Google uh, Google images and it just type in Mare Oriental okay and, and just this is the image you have to get and you have to flip it before you put it on the earth you have to flip it with Microsoft paint or whatever and then overlay it using Google Earth okay and this is how it fits every feature fits I'm not going to go into detail about every uh, every one on this one but you can see clearly that it goes there okay now this is the second this is the next one that I saw right here going up and another one right here fits in there very very well very well Again, if it's in the borders. You see, see this line that comes across here. You see something happens there. Okay, and that's that. That look, look at the corner. Here, let me turn the borders off. Look at the corners. Oh, I forgot to point out the other one other thing. Okay, on this other one. I mean, just look at look at Central America. Right here, let me get the borders back on. How it comes? There's this line that comes up and it curves. It arches up like this, and you see. Look at look at on the moon same thing you see this little area right here look absolutely hold on absolutely there see it look at that right there look at that look at looks like an a look at that it goes right there okay you see this this circuit this area here look look at the border look at the fit okay so that goes there too and then we got there's another one down here this is a really good one too this is I, I forgot to show this in my other video but this is a very significant overlay right here and it shows all of this see how this comes in like this and there's that angle look oh my god look at it look at it look at look at the sweep uh, this you know, how it goes how look at how it's shaped south america is shaped this way look at this big ring right here but you see this this swoosh that comes right out the side that look at that it sweeps right out the side it goes there it absolutely goes there look at the angle here Okay, and then you see this angle here. It goes right there. Absolutely does. Guaranteed does. If these maps are correct, then it goes there. Any expert will tell you that it goes there. There's no way around it. Okay? You know, I, I've totally lost all faith in, in science. I mean, because it, this is, wait till you see, wait till you see. Here you go, Atlantic. In the Atlantic, right here, this, I mean, all the features are right in place goes there too absolutely does now I'm not now some of these may may be the same impact at, from 
you know, different place on the earth. I don't, that's, but I'm going to, we got what, four already? We got one, two, three, four, five, oh, I think we got six already, don't we? Oh, wait, we got one, two, three, four, five, right? Right, okay, and then, so there's five so far, and then those ones got to be separate ones. They have to be. So, we got five so far. Uh, there's another one I do believe right here. This is a, I don't think I have it marked yet, but it's up here. One of these ones. Right there. And I see see this, like, right there in South America where it sweeps in right there, those two lines. You can see where it continues. Hold on. See where it continues into South America right there, look. Okay, and then you see all this in South America. And then just look at the shape. Look at the look at the roundness and look at everything fit over there in Africa. It fits right along the trans or the Mid Atlantic Ridge right there. See how that is? Okay. Now, now I'm not saying that one's for sure because I'm not I'm not absolutely positive on that one yet, but it looks to me like it hits there. Okay, so here we got this one in the United in North America. Oh, we got this one. Okay, and look at it. Look at look at the western west coast. Look at the whole coast of the of North America right here. Okay, see that? See how it fits? Look at California. Look at look at the, look at the whole thing. Look what's right in the middle of the black of the dark area. Look what's right in the middle of the dark area. Yellowstone is right there. And look at all these. Look at that. Right there is right there. It's there. Look at this crater up here. Absolutely right there. Look, right there. Okay, and then this one here, this oval is absolutely there. It's, it's difficult to see, but it is there. This goes here. It does go here. It creates it creates the Rockies. It creates the Sierras. It creates a lot of things, a lot of things in this one. Okay, just take a look at it again. With the, you can see it with the borders on. You can see it absolutely goes there. Yellowstone is right in the middle. I mean, it, it creates Yellowstone probably, right? Look at look at how this whole thing fits around this thing. Look at it. Okay. I mean, you got to see that. All right, next one. <coughs> um, we go. We'll just. I got to go up here. I think it's up here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this one. This is another one right here, in North America. And let me just turn off the borders and take a look at. You'll see this crater here again. Zoom in. It's there. Absolutely there. Look at right here. Perfect oval right here perfect oval and you can see if you have a big screen like I do 42 inch screen you can see that the superiors here and then here is Michigan right here look Lake Michigan right there and then if you if you really have I mean you can see there's the this comes down to a point right here this is a point and look at the corner and everything look at this okay the point is right there creates it shapes that area look at, look, look at Lake Michigan and then the, this crater it all fits right now in place right now this is there, look. Okay. You can see see this one. You can see everything. Okay. And then check it out. Greenland. Right here. If I bring Greenland straight down, it fits right here. Check it out. Greenland. Same size. And look at it fit. Look where, it, look where the tip of it fits right in there on the moon. Look how it goes up just like this. Right here is all the same. So is this right here. You see that? So there is Greenland, right in place. So it just it just confirms it. Greenland fits in the picture too. So I mean, it confirms it. So that's that's that one. And I don't know how. I'm not, I'm not going to even count. Okay, I'm not even going to count. So oh, here's a here's another one in Canada. Oh, I don't think I marked that one either. It's one of these ones, I think. Okay, this is a perfect one too. Absolutely perfect. No way around it. Absolutely perfect fit. Okay, look at look at the mountains. Look at this over here. I really, you need to copy what I'm doing here. I'm telling you, you need to do this to see it on your own screen. If you got to wear glasses, I don't. T look at this up here. Look at that. Look. Look at this. Okay, you see the same type of shape there. You know it's the same thing. And then you got this crater here. Again, look at that oval. Look at the oval. 
it, they try to hide it, but it's absolutely there. It's, it's, you can see it. And then you go up here, and again, there's that crater again. You can see that too. It's absolutely there. Dead center of it is right there. It's lined up perfectly. Look at that. Boom. Okay, and then look right here. You see these three marks? There's a spot for every one of those marks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See it? Look at it all at once. Uh, all of it. Look at it. Oval. The crater up above. All three of those spots. It just goes here. Because you have the mountains. Oh, and this right here. Sorry, I forgot this. Right here. Okay, look. You see this angle right here and right here? That's right there in Canada. Look. What do you think creates that right there? Look at that. I'd say something something to do with that. Or, or some, it, I mean, it, it shapes it, it shapes the moon again or something. It does something there. You can see it. The lines go through it. Everything. All of it. Absolutely there. With the, with the old wool crater right in place. Everything's in place. Absolutely. And you, look, you, you can look it over. Do the overlay and look it over yourself. Like I said, I, I encourage you to do so. There you go. So that's another one. <clears throat> Moving on. Okay, now I know there's another one that's up here, but I don't have that one lined up yet. So th there is another one right here, Mare Oriental. Now this one, these ones that happen right here are probably the ones that happen in the North America. Or possibly the ones. I think it's possible that they all happen over here because we can see that North America has been pushed over, I do believe. That's, I mean, not, not, I, I know North America has been pushed over here, but I don't know about the rest of it. It looks like South America, some things have been pushed this way too. But anyways, I know there is one there. Okay, but this is, the, this is a real important one here. Very important one right here. This is the Marianas Trench. And look at right in the center. This may, may, may be a little adjusted. No, it's not. It's perfect, actually. Okay, pretty much. Okay, now look. Marianas Trench is right here in the center of this. Right? So, you see how it fits. It's all here. Look at the, look at the curve right here, this curve. Okay, I'm going to turn the borders on in a second and we'll see how that looks. And I know it looks good. But you can see there's a big hole right in the center. There it is. Right there. Deepest place on earth. Okay, now here's the borders. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, you know what? I think it needs to be maybe a little... No, I don't... I think it's just right. Look at that little thing fit right in there. I think everything's just about right. Yep. Just look at that. Okay, so that fits there too. There's the Marianas Islands right in the center. Right there, those two little dots. You can see them. So, <clears throat> and it's right in the center, and there's always like something right in the center, like Yellowstone. So this creates the Marianas Trench. That, that I, I'm absolutely sure of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you some <laughs> more in a minute. So check it out. Now I think there was more. I think this same impact was this Im was. I think this impact here, or is this impact that I'm going to show you right now happened over here. I do believe it's possible. It, it's possible. Okay, it happened e either here or there. Either way. Okay, here we go. Tibetan Plateau, the Himalayas, and China. However, you want to what, look at the first. Look at the borders. Look how they fit. Look how this comes down and drops down. And it, there's the Himalayas. And then just you know, it fits up here too. You see how it goes around up here, and it's it's it goes here. Okay, now watch. <coughs> Faded in and out. Oh, not that one. Here, let me turn the borders off. Just check it out. All right. Now you see the big hole where where Everest would be. I mean, look at this. This creates the plateau. Look at the plateau right here. Look at this. Look at all of this. And then look at this where it come, where this comes in right here. Oh damn it! Now it keeps messing up on me. Stop. See how this curves in right here. Look at this. Okay. I'm, I mean, I know this goes here. I'm going to show you. I'm saving the best for last. So just hang tight. I'm saving the best for last. I think I, what I consider one of the best. Anyway, they're all good. They're all really good. Okay, I mean this whole thing fits here. Look at it. Look at China over here. Here, let me turn the borders back on it. You can, it kind of surrounds it. Come on. Look at the shape of China. And look how it just curves right around perfectly around it. Was India 
there during the impact? I would have to say it probably was. I mean, it kind of looks like it's got the same land features there as India does, somewhat. And you can see, oh, let me turn these damn borders off again. And you can see there's some similarities there, but that's not an absolute. Okay, so, but the rest of it is, the Himalayas, it's all, that's that's a perfect fit. I mean, I've, I've gone over it in my other video that I put out yesterday, so I'm not going to go into it much deeper. Turn the borders on again right there. Check out, the, let me see if we can see something in the Caspian area. That you can see, see the shape of it somewhat. Okay, so anyways, moving on. To, the, uh, to what I think is one of the, oh, I showed the one in South Africa yesterday. I do believe I got it lined up right at the end, right towards the end of my, uh, the video there. So that's uh, better show that one, I guess. I don't know which one it is though. Uh, it must be that one. There we go. Huh. Okay, so here we go. This is another one. I b do believe that it hits just like this, and you can see, you can see it. I do believe it goes there. We got Zimbabwe again over here, where that same thing that shapes. Look at that. Here's the look at the oval again, right here, right there. Watch. You can see there's an oval there. Look at that. Look at that oval. Right in place. And then just look at the rest of it. Oh, I want to point out. Look at uh, Madagascar. Look at the look at Madagascar here. Look at the shape of the. Look at it. Damn it. Look at the shape of Madagascar. Tell me now that the moon does not hit the Earth. Tell me. Go. Oh, I mean, look at look at this right here. See that shape right there? It goes right into that little area right there. You can see it. it goes right in there. This. You see the shape of Madagascar, right there. Look at look at the curve to a point. Curve back. It's 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 Madagascar. Okay. It is. So, <clears throat> there's another one. So Mira Oriental seems to be a pretty busy crater on the moon, when it, or it used to be. So here we go. Here's the best. Here's what I I think is are really really good ones here that you'll see no problem. Now I always look at Australia upside down. So just the way it's just the way I look at it. All right. So this is a good one. <clears throat> now I pointed out before that this was an impact crater right here, right here in the ocean, right? And it, it starts over here pretty much and comes around and goes like this. All right. Well, here it is. This is this is it. This is one of them. Okay, and I know it's big, but I mean that's just the way it fits, man. I'm not, you know, it's, I can't. It's not. It's not me. Talk to your uh, scientist about that one. Okay, so this right here goes here. How do I know it goes here? Well, we could turn the borders on, but we, we don't need to do that yet. I don't think. Just go up here and look at look at how this comes in like this, to a point. You can see how look at this right here where it sweeps in, right here. You can see it, it perfectly right there. Okay, look at look at look at Australia. If you live here, you know I'm right. You can see it. Okay. Now and there's Tycho. Where's Tycho hit? Tycho hits right there in Australia. Right there in Australia. Tycho is that's you can see that, that out, outline of Tycho, right there. Tycho is right here. Okay. And uh, look at the, the big ring right there, with this right there, I'm sure. And then you can see, you can see this right here where that bright spot is right there. Look, right there. Okay, that's right there. And then look at this. And they kind of they do try to hide it. I do believe this circle. See the circle right there? I think they touched it up or something. But it goes right in there. And then look at the look at the V right here. It, it goes here. It goes here. There's no way it doesn't. No way that it doesn't. Look, at it comes out to this point here. Now I want to show you something very cool. I mean, you may. Th I mean, you can see up here where where Australia comes up, and you can see where it goes up there. I mean, it goes here. And and I'm gonna turn the borders on now. Let's check it out with the borders. Wow, look at that. Look at this right here. Ooh, see, I always do the borders after I line it up. I don't line it up with the borders on. I usually line it up and then I turn the borders on. So, pretty interesting. You ask me. It goes right around that right there. You can see, look at the corner right there. The little corner curve. It puts that curve in there, and you see this comes per fits perfectly in there. Absolutely perfect. And 
I don't know, you know, this is what it is, but I mean, you can see where that, that's, per, this is right, up here is right, right here, shots down and fits right in, comes back up along that one right there, you can see, and then it comes back down. Now, here's the cool part. Okay, see, you see this curve on the other side right here? This curve that comes this way? You know what that is? That's a repeat. That's a over, that's an over, uh, like a repeat, or it, like it hits the land, watch, oh, here's what it is. Okay, I'll put this one on top. Okay, now check it out. This is what it is. It's a repeat or an over stamp or whatever. It, it it's it, like a double. It's, it's an absolute double of that impact. It over it 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 over stamp it overlaps the other impact. And let me just show you that that other one fits, so you can see. Turn the borders on and everything. Okay, just look at the coast over here of Australia. Okay, look at it. Look at the shape of it. Right here. See how it curves out right there? It's it's right there. Look up here. I mean it's it's absolutely here. It is. Here, you wanna check this out? Look at this look at this right here. See that big oval crater right there? That's what that is right there. And you can zoom in and you can see right there what that that's where that hits right there. And I'm sure they touch this up. You can see it. It's there, absolutely there. So, and you can come down here and, and look at all this area too. I mean, this this stuff all fits right in borders too, right all the way down here. And you can see, uh, God, I can see better without the borders, kind of. Um, which one? Where this, where the curve is right here. You see how this curves around? Look, it's it goes here. It absolutely goes. Damn it! See, see, someone's trying to stop me. Okay, so it goes here too. It, you see the curve. It, I mean, this, look at the islands. It goes here. You see it. Look at the. Look at this. How it comes right down. See the curve. I mean, it is perfect. It, it fits right in here. Okay, it does. <coughs> look at the coast of Australia again. The moon hits Australia right here, and then it overlaps. It hits again. Boom. Again. The land down under. Makes you wonder. You see how the dark, the dark shadow, is on the same side both times. It's, so it stays. It's like a cycle. It's a pattern. It hits the same way. It used to hit the same way all the time. Mare Oriental, bam, hits the Earth. And it, it, it's when the poles flip on the Earth. It has to be when the poles reverse on magnetic poles reverse on the Earth. Now, right now, they say we're, the Moon's moving away from the Earth slowly. Okay, that's that's like, that is a. Repulsion, it's repel it's re repelling the moon, it's pushing it away. And then when the poles reverse on the earth or flip over the magnetic poles, it's within our magnetic field, it pulls the, it must pull the moon to the earth and hits the earth. I don't know how it separates, I don't know what happens when it you can't you all you can see is that it does happen. It absolutely happens. The patterns everywhere on the earth. They don't lie. I mean these ma you can see it for yourself if you do the overlays yourself. I'm not, you know, Look, I just want, I, just, I like to know the truth. That's why I've been so driven on this, to find this out. Because I knew, I could see from the start of doing this, I was seeing stuff from the very start. And, and, and this picture right here, just, when I got this picture, it just took off. Looks like an owl, huh? Looks like, it's just like an owl. But you can see it. Look at the curve over here. It's the same curve. And then look at the curve over here. Mm, same thing. Then, I mean, look at that right there. It's all, it fits. It goes here. It does go here. So I don't know how many impacts I just showed you, but that was quite a few. One, two, and three, and four, and there's one here, but it'd be five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, about fourteen different impacts at least. And then that's not even counting. Like I said before, that's not even counting. Tycho, Mare Austral. Uh, Mare Austral. i got to find that one show you guys this, that one before I end this video, I guess. It's got to be some. It's in my list. It's not that far up, I guess. I'll, I'll hunt it down. It's a little ways up. Got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so for... Uh,
close. Getting close. Okay, this is a now. Come on. Oh, this is a. I think this is one of those. Yeah, one of those images. Okay, so this isn't the one I'm looking for, but this is. Yeah, this one ain't, this, you can't really see on that one. I gotta get the other one. Okay. And apparently, this is gonna have to. This is gonna have to be bigger. It seems like because I don't know. It's it's weird the way that that crater lines up. You know, but look at Smithy Eye. Here's Mare Austral. Hits right here, and this is this is a Google Moon image. It's, it's kind of weird, but I think this hits right here too, Mare Austral. And it, what it is is you can see Smithy Eye right here. Right here in in Australia, right here. Ah, damn it! Right here. I I do believe that that hits there, and the Humboldt crater would be right here in Australia. You can see you can see it there, and you can see there's like these lines that come down with it. Here's this got to be Humboldt crater right there. It's got to be. See it? You can see it's the same shape as Humboldt crater, right there. You see this line that comes down, and this line that comes down, and that's in the, that's there. I'm sure that it goes there. I'm I'm sure of it. I mean, look at this over here. See it, the the way that it, it it plays tricks with your eyes with that other crater looking so big, is that they're different pictures. The one's from a mosaic from a satellite, and this is this is I don't know what you this is a mosaic too, I guess, but it's just. Look, it's just different. They're two different from two different things. I mean, but th this goes here, and, and you can confirm it. How how did I confirm it with uh, what was it? Tycho? Or did I did I confirm it with Tycho? I can't remember. Mare Austral. Oh yeah. Okay, Mare Austral. I put it up there. Let's see how that. Yeah. See, I thought it was bigger. Let's just check that out. These are old ones. These are nothing like the new picture. Nothing. Oh man, it's way up here. Screw it. I'm just gonna end the video there. I mean, you can see. Look at. You can look at those yourself. And, and look. I. I know. I. I. I know it. I. I know where the Atlantic Ocean or the Arctic Ocean is on the moon, as well as Iceland on the moon. I know where all that is. I've. Look. I'm gonna just take you there. I gotta show you. I gotta turn this shit off first. I mean, this is important. This changes every goddamn thing on the planet. It, it answers every question on the planet. Any question you've had that, that's unanswered mystery on the earth, basically, of, of the ancient past, this answers it all. It answers everything. It absolutely is the Mayan calendar that Mare Austral, or Mare Oriental, is the, is the Mayan calendar. It's a picture of the Mayan calendar. Here, let me just show you that real quick. I'll show you that real quick. That, that's a good one I, I'd like to show you. And I had that stuff all set up too. Let's work. Mirror Christie. No, that's a different one. I had it all set up, so I'm going to try and find that first. Mirror. Mirror. Mosaic. It's right here somewhere. Should be. My moon. Okay. So, first I have to go to the moon. Have I got anything else? Oh, man. I got that shit open. Hold on a second. Okay. So first, go to the moon. Watch. This is the Mayan calendar. I'm telling you. I I, I, I I can see it. You'll see. You'll see. I mean, look at how often it hits South America. Somebody somebody must have seen it. Something. It's the picture of this god. It's this crater. It's a picture of it. It's a picture of the crater. It used to face the Earth. It used to face the Earth. It's just a picture of the Moon, basically, as they've seen the Moon. It's and this is a crappy rendition of the. This is the worst picture of the Moon you'll ever see is Google Earth, Google Moon. Absolutely stupid. There's no detail whatsoever. But this is the crater that I, I've been overlaying all over the Earth, right here. This is what it looks like in in Google Moon, at least, anyways. No detail. Look at the. Here's the real picture of the crater, the one I've been using, right over the top of it. Hold on, let me get up there, right here. No, that's not it yet. Hold on. That's the real picture of the crater in detail with details and, and real details, as you can see. I got it lined up in the same direction. Everything should be right in the fa facing the right direction and everything. Pretty, pretty close. 
Okay, so here's the Mayan calendar over the top. Okay, and it, so it must have used to, it must have faced the Earth like this, probably, I do believe, because it, you see the pyramid on the top of the, of, right of this right here. You see this like pyramid shape, right? Well, just take a look on the Moon. This pyramid shape. This is on the Mayan calendar. This pyramid is on the Mayan calendar with the bright, with this bright light like a firefly on the top. Watch. Right on the top, there's, there, there's, there it is. And I'm not saying this is lined up right over the moon, just right how it should be. But I'm saying this is the, it, it doesn't have to be because this is the way they've seen it. Okay, but and don't go by Google. I'm just showing you the pyramid. This is the pyramid. There's the pyramid on the moon, right there. Okay, see the same. It's the same angle. Everything. See it? Okay, and you can see that that's there's a, definitely a pyramid there. Okay, now I got to get the other crater back up there because that's the one it resembles most. Okay, if you just look at the picture, I mean, like you'll see, like up here, you see like this X right there with the circle. See that? See the little X right there? I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little X right there. And then you can see all the little features. I mean, look at right here. Oh, my God. What's going on now? Okay, right here. Watch this, right? Here you see these two little buckle, like these two little badges right here. You see, you can see those right there. I do believe that's that, that, and then you see the tongue hanging out right there, or right in the center, wherever, right here, right here, okay. You see, you can see, like, look right here, this, you can see that this, you could, you could imagine that being that right there, that shape, you could imagine that being that, right, With, look at the pyramid right there, there's the pyramid on the moon. The way they seen it, it's, the other ones are kind of a phony looking one. But you can see like these creatures in here. Look, I mean somewhat like this. This you can see the shapes of, of them like this one right here. You can see the shape of that. Uh, what the how they could think that? I mean, plus this is not, you know, exactly. I mean, you can look at look at this up here. Look at that. You can see how they cut that little that shape right there at the end, and this one here. See the dot? Okay. There's something to it. I'm telling you, there's something to it. And and the rectangular shapes are absolutely on mirror oriental. These rectangular shapes on each corner are on mirror oriental. If you look at it, I mean, they are. There's a rectangular shape on each corner. Here, it's better. It's almost better to look at this one for that. No, oh, no, it's not. But anyways, you can look at it yourself. I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty much done making these videos, I guess. I've, I've proved it. The moon has hit the earth. You can take it for what it's worth. I, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I, I've been doing this for three years, and I can tell you, I know what I'm seeing. You, you, any expert will look at, could look at the same overlays, do the same overlays, and see exactly what I'm talking about. I guarantee it. So, you know, just, it just, uh, it, you know, if it discredits all the science just because it's the truth, you know, oh well. I'm sorry, you, you know, if it's the truth, you guys need to come out and join the, you know, get on the fucking bandwagon here, because, uh, <clears throat> the truth shall set us free, right? So I hear, I don't feel so free these days myself, so I don't, I don't know if there's any truth to that. Knowing the truth, I know the truth, and so do, so do the scientists, and so do... So does NASA. So does they, they know for damn sure. Because I've seen where they try to hide it everywhere. Okay, I mean you can take it for what it's worth. Like I said, if you don't care, then fine. If you do, check it out. Adios.